Evening, good afternoon, good morning, Fabulites. This is Angela, and I have a couple of questions for you. The channel is Be Fabulous You. What opens with a possible, maybe we don't know, invitation to an idiot for an exotic party, and what ends with idiot and awe at an exotic party? If you guessed the Real Housewives of Potomac, uh, is it episode 11? It's the season finale. I'm going to find out what episode it is. It probably got a name. I'm going to find out that too. Um, then you're correct. Real Housewives of Potomac. If you want to stick around and see how we got from opening to closing with me, please do. I'm happy to have you. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're back if you're back. And thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and all of that other good stuff. Uh, trees <laughs> okay um so we're basically picking up where we left off the last time we were here together which was a couple weeks ago right um we're at the champagne room grand opening that's Sharice's champagne room um so um we we all find out or karen lets us know i think in the green room that she doesn't care what these people think because they are not paying her mortgage rent i mean mortgage she say mortgage but is it rent or mortgage i mean yeah okay um ash wants to know well is it an anniversary party or a, a, a housewarming party and karen get a little tight and ash is like well i just want to know what what gift i should bring but I don't know if anybody actually brought gifts to the party. Um, the, ex the theme is exotic and details are forthcoming. Exotic, y'all. Exotic. Um, then we see Ash plus her mom getting a massage. This is the montage part. We see Sharice's daughter and dog, Giselle, dancing. <laughs> I thought Giselle dancing was funny. She, You know, Giselle is actually funny in a way, but she's mean too. The funny part I like, the mean part I don't like. Um, um, I would like to like her. I like to like everybody, but she make it hard. She make it hard for me to like her. Okay, so then we see Karen at home. Um, not Karen. Is it Karen? No, not Karen. Robin. We see Robin at home and she's telling Juan about her dating assignment from the therapist and that she's been going to therapy. And Juan kind of, do y'all notice Juan looks annoyed just sitting down talking to her? Um, you know, I don't know. It's just something hostile or something. You know, maybe there's a lot that he can't say because the cameras are rolling that he wants to say. And so then he has that like upset look on his face. But it's it's not... It, it 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 don't make you get a warm fuzzy feeling about that couple. It don't make me get a warm fuzzy couple feeling about that couple. Um, and then his jaw is all tight when she's um you know telling them about the situation and he well who told you to get therapy? Well what about them? What kind of relationships are they in? And um you know I was kind of you're a grown woman you know tell me about their relationships. I was kind of confused by the whole interaction. I didn't know if it was if we were happy if I was happy with the outcome or not but I just decided that uh, what's her face Robin was happy so if she happy I'm happy but I, I don't I don't really understand you know what's really going on between them I really don't have a good beat on it my theory before was that he didn't really want to be bothered but he didn't know how to tell her he didn't want to be bothered because her parents and her whole family basically adopted him. And so he doesn't want to be mean and hurtful to her, but he doesn't want to just come out and say, you know, I don't want to be with you. So he waiting for her to come to him and say she don't want to be with him. You know, that's how some people do breakups. They wait for the other person to break up. That's what I thought. But then he got so tight jaw because it seemed like if that was the case when she's like she's dating you'd be like oh that's great did you meet anybody do you want to dump me but i don't i don't understand i mean i don't know if it was just a control thing like i don't want you but i don't want nobody i didn't i didn't understand and it it mm -mm. so um we happy okay we happy see okay this this one is called this little segment is called we are african 
so um, it's a nine bedroom 14,000 square foot house or whatever the the statistics were and it's very confusing I this is another thing that's confusing I don't understand why because if I remember correctly when she started talking about moving out of the house in Potomac the children are gone blah 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 so the children are still gone what y'all need nine bedrooms for I don't understand you know, I really, I, I, I don't understand. I don't know. It's, it's, I don't understand. Um, and K Ray is like, you know, I didn't really want to come, you know, to this big house or whatever. And Karen is like, are you happy? And Ray is like, I'm happy where you are. That's sweet. That's a nice sentiment. Um, you know, I, I don't, what's going on? What's really going on? And then um, Karen is talking about exotic countries, and I'm like, um, I don't, I don't understand. Yeah, I don't understand, cause you know that's coming from a particular, like to, 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 to black people, white people could be exotic. So you know, when she's saying exotic, I guess she's coming from a white perspective, and she, I don't, I didn't really, I didn't like it. I didn't. It kind of, but that's gonna be the theme of the um, 20th anniversary party they trying to get that together um, in, um, Karen wants Indian with you know I guess belly dancers and stuff and Ray is like well I think the theme you know should be African since we are African and then he says we're African American but I was really kind of surprised to hear him say we are African because I'm like wow I, who knew you know he had even that consciousness he quickly corrected it or whatever but at least you know it came out for a moment so Karen compromises and she makes it both. You know, she messes it together. I mean, meshes it together. It's a mesh, not a mess. But I think it's a mess, right? It's It was kind of a mess. Mm. <laughs> so, so far this episode, I'm kind of feeling like... Mm. Okay, so then we see... Oh, here we come with more of it. Then we see Giselle at a restaurant and Kevin comes... Um, and Kevin is talking about, you know, I, did you go um, when you were in um, Bermuda? Did you go um, water skiing? I want you to save that for me. And I went motorcycling where I was and I'm trying to get you to do that with me. And she's already let us know when we're waiting for him that she doesn't want to be with him in that way. Um, but I, I don't understand why she's trying to telepathically communicate that she just wants to be friends with him. I'm not sure why she would just not come out and say it. But I guess he understood it at the end through, you know, I don't know. It was kind of, I was kind of like, I don't, what's really going on? I don't understand. Or, I mean, you can't just tell the man. But maybe those are some fine womanly arts that I just don't understand. Because I do, you know, I do understand that sometimes, you know, I don't, I didn't understand. Because I understand some stuff in terms of you ain't always got to say everything. But I just... I don't understand why she wouldn't just tell him. I'm tired. This whole episode kind of had me tired with confusion and like, I don't understand. I don't understand. I couldn't quite wrap my head around it. It was hard for me to find stuff to appreciate. Um, this one is called, this little segment is called Fans in the Window, Red Doors, and other mistakes we've been making. So Monique and her family are at the new house and some of the cast is coming to visit Monique and her new house. And Monique is like, you know, it's huge for Potomac to have us, which I thought was kind of like, okay, kind of funny, I guess. Um, and hubby wants, he said he want to go Alabama and put a fan in the window. And then, um, I'm trying to understand why the house is so hot. And Monique is like, if you're going to put, don't do that. You might as well paint the doors red. We got a red door in our neighborhood or two, at least one, but it's cute. What's wrong with a red door? I guess you'd have to be, you know, of that echelon to understand the faux pasness of a red door. Um, but why is it so hot? Mo is wondering if her neighbors are snooty. They don't have AC. They don't have central air. They don't have electricity. I don't understand. I guess they haven't moved into the house yet still. So I guess it's just not, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Ugh. <sighs> Um, 
So um, Sharice is excited. She's she shows up and she's she's excited that Mo is gonna be her new war, um, walking partner because I guess Karen has moved or Karen didn't want to be her partner. I don't really know what's going on between Sharice and Karen. It's something going on between them, but I don't I don't I don't understand. I don't understand. Um, and then Karen arrives and she says, you know, lets us know that this Potomac is where she's lived for 20 years. And how many people can say that? I mean, how many people can say they lived anywhere for 20 years? I think maybe being outside of the community and outside of the area, the the some of this stuff um, of Karen's foolishness may be going over my head. I may have to actually be in that area to really appreciate the significance of that statement. Um, Cherise suggests... Um, saging so that was kind of interesting um you know to see that on a mainstream show i think we've seen it on a couple of the other um one of the other reality i think i've seen it on one of the reality shows but i'm all for a sage and they looked really funny and weird to me when they were walking around talking about out with bad energy good in with good energy is that how people say that's not how i sage but anyway um and then ashley's behind Ashley, that wasn't nice. Talking about, yeah, like out with Karen and in with Monique. Girl. And then Karen um, invites um, um, them to the 20th anniversary party. So I guess that um, little Ash is invited as well. And um, Karen, then it's this weird segue where Karen is like, um, you have no furniture and neither do I. So uh, come to my party. And I'm like, why doesn't she have furniture? I mean, she's been living in her home for 20 years. Does she just want to get a fresh start? But then I don't understand because if you're planning to leave possibly in two years, it seems... I don't I don't understand. I don't understand, Miss uh, Karen. I don't understand. Um, I understand why uh, Monique might not have any furniture because they're still in their other home, so they're not living there, so it's not furnished. And I understand why someone who's just starting off might buy a house and not have furniture because they're like, okay, we got the house. Then the next thing we're going to work on is window coverings. Then the next thing we're going to work on is, you know, a dining room set. Then the next thing, you know, they might have a little system going. I don't understand why, you know, this established couple would not have you know furniture even if it's not fully decorated i don't understand i don't understand you understand um and then there's this whole thing about um um ashley says that uh monique and her husband could be the duke and duchess of potomac since the grand dame is already taken and then karen in her interview says no matter where i am I am always a Potomac girl at heart. Can you say the same? And I'm like, no, I can't. I mean, who? The, I don't. Yeah, again, it's it's over my head the 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 significance of the whole Potomac thing. I I probably you probably have to be there to get it. It was probably it probably meant something, but it didn't. Uh, so then we see Sharice at the Indian shop. And um, like Southeast Asian Indian shop. And she's shopping for the Bollywood theme party. That's what she says when she comes in. Then Ash and Karen. Not Ash and Karen. Ash and Robin. All this, all my notes are messed up. Ash and Robin show up. Um, and the man, um, Sharice tries something on. And the man says to Sharice, the proprietor of the store, you know, you look beautiful. And, you know, Sharice is like, oh, you know, thank you. Blah, 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 blah. You can say that every day. And he's like, I would do anything to sell my products. And I'm like, why are they editing the show to make it seem like Sharice is just some undesirable, unwanted woman? I mean, who does she offend? Because they making her look, it's not, it's, I don't know. I mean, she's as attractive as anybody else. She's a good looking woman. I don't, you know, but they got her, she out here looking, she ain't looking good on these streets on this show to me. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. Um, and then they have some conversation about the the theme of the party and confusion with that. Is it Indian? Is it African? They got the text message. They got the emails. Uh, um, the Huger's new place. Um, we're at the Huger's new place and folks are arriving downstairs as Karen upstairs presents her husband Ray with a picture from her photo shoot for the um, 20th for their 20th anniversary. And they continue getting ready as the daughter arrives. And I, the the photo just, uh, I don't know if it was the background or it just, it was, 
it looked like a snapshot I'm surprised that she hired a photographer to take it because it didn't the composition or I don't know it just it didn't look it didn't look done um then Sharice is asking a woman I can't remember her name because um Karen says her name later why did they move so quick and you know you know and the woman wasn't spilling no tea or didn't have no tea she's like I don't know I don't know um, and then Mo shows up and she's in native headdress like Native American and that's when you know I kind of feel like the whole exotic thing was kind of rubbing me the wrong way and then a Native American headdress type thing it was kind of like uh, I didn't it didn't make me it like I just feel like I didn't like it I didn't like it I mean I understood she was trying to be funny um, but you know, I didn't like it. You know, I didn't like this whole exotic theme. I would have liked it better if they had just been like, look, you know, we African Americans, we gonna do the African theme and we gonna appropriate our culture and try to understand and celebrate our culture. But this whole mishmash of things. And then when we came with the native American, um, headdress, which just seems like such a trope, at least she didn't have her face painted red, but, um, uh, Mm. and then Giselle is back to being mean and catty and I don't understand I mean it just makes me tired Giselle I don't I don't like that mean girl shit um and then Robin is like who are all of these people I thought it was gonna be 20 people at the party and we thought it was a downsized party right like but just like her house is not downsized it's right size she she resized the party to you know two million people or however many people were there so um, Giselle is like, she has questions about where the food is, where the drinks are, where the hosts are. And then, you know, the Hugers arrive and they're at the balcony above everybody and they're waving from the balcony. And then they come down and they mix and mingle and they're followed by the dancing Southeast Asian folks. Plus there's some belly dance. Plus there's henna tattoos going on. And then later there's some West African drummers, um, Ashley. Um, you know, it's in her interview, she's like, come on, Karen, what's the meaning of this? I, and I was wondering too, moving again, maybe in two years, you have a rental. And I could understand too, if you sold your house and you have to move because it's a quick turnaround, you might rent someplace month to month until you find a place that you want to get settled into. But I don't understand this moving a house that you've had for 20 years, then getting settled in another place. And then at the end of two years, you may be moving again. I mean, that just seems kind of, I don't understand. Uh, that's a lot of moving. That's a lot of moving. I mean, if you're a college student, you ain't got shit. You know, it's a production to move at the end of the year. But trying to move every two years, a whole house, a whole household, that's, I don't understand. I don't know what they're doing and why. Um, then we see the Green Eyed Sisters discussing Robin's therapy. And Giselle is basically like, okay, so after six months, you're going to be either head over heels or moving on. Um, so that was kind of like, okay, I don't believe it. But because in, in the conversation with Juan, didn't he basically say, well, in six months, I see us, you know, maybe going out to dinner and maybe working on our relationship. I'm like, y'all been, y'all got children, y'all, y'all, that's something for a 17 year old to say or a 14 year old to say about six months out in a relationship or maybe even a 21 year old to say, but y'all are kind of grown and have children and have been married. I don't understand what kind of, to me, that sounds like he ain't saying nothing. Y'all ain't, I mean, I don't really understand. I don't, I don't understand. This is making me so depressed reading my notes from this episode. Um, Okay. <laughs> and then when when the Hugers kiss, it was like it was it was it was too much. It was oh my god. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did y'all see the kiss? Oh my god. I didn't understand. I didn't understand that either. I didn't understand why we had to see it. I mean, I'm all for people kissing and I'm all for love and I'm all for black love, but it was just too much and just ew. Ooh. Ash apologizes to Robin for being too um, pushy. Um, Sharice and Karen both feel bad for each other. They chit-chatting. And Karen is like, you know, you're going through a divorce. It's big of you to be here at the celebration of our love's longevity when your love life has fallen apart. And Sharice is saying in the green stream, are you having money problems? The, so that was kind of weird. I didn't really, I don't, I don't understand. So this was the end of the season. 
um i didn't understand so we got you know the you know how they tell you the the updates of what happened or they they uh you know seal the deal close the story so karen she's still the grand dame of of potomac and she's trying to be the grand dame of her new community ash um her restaurant has still not broken even and her relationship with her husband is still rocky um robin has stopped therapy which I don't understand. I don't understand. And she's trying to spend time with uh, Juan. But they've been living together. I mean, I don't understand why they couldn't be spending time if they wanted to. Giselle is dating a retired baller. Um, Monique has not yet moved into her Potomac home. But she does have a shark tank. Um, Charisse has renovated her entire home inspired by her champagne room. She has no contact with Eddie. But they haven't gotten a, a divorce. So then I watch what watch what happens live because I guess I was hoping I was gonna get some tea. Look, I'm 20 minutes in and I don't understand what the heck happened in this episode. Um, Robin and Robin and Juan, Juan pounded it out. Somebody said after they conversation about their relationship, so they think that's a good sign. That's not a good sign. They've been together for too long to be pounding it out. I don't understand. Um, typical Monique. Um, this is a uh, mean ass Giselle talking about that's typical Monique. A day out of school, no class. Um, and then Giselle thought that Karen's move was a whim. Uh, this was a this was not a fun, but anyway, the the reunion looks like it'll be interesting. I feel like was this the worst episode of the whole season? I think this was, and I was waiting to see what the scam was because uh, Ashley's husband was like, "What is this a front for something?" And I'm like, "Is it a front? What are they doing? Are they selling children? Are they what's really going on?" But it wasn't the the reason the woman was crying is because she talked to her mom. Her mom caught in. And her mom has some health issues. So that's why Karen was crying. We've been seeing that all season. Blah, blah, blah. Be you. Be fabulous. Be fabulous, you. Peace. <laughs>